what is going on guys my name is forge here on this channel mr supply drop so today i wanted to make a quick video talking about modern warfare 3 versus modern warfare 2 now i'm not talking about the new games of course this is a good time to talk about these old games because uh, a lot of people are comparing the new modern warfare 2 to the new modern warfare 3 2023 because there are a lot of improvements and fixes for modern warfare 3 2023 well you know we'll see if that actually ends up being a good game and making that game good but by the sounds of it it is taking all the bad from modern warfare 2 and bringing all the good along with it and fixing it all up and that is exactly what the original modern warfare 3 did for the original modern warfare 2 from this point forward i'm just going to be saying mw2 is the original mw2 mw3 is the original mw3 all right so what is the issue with modern warfare 2 and it, let's just jump right into it all right modern warfare 3 in my opinion i'm just going to give the conclusion already so you know you don't have to sit into the end to hear it if that's really all you care about uh, and that is the fact that modern warfare 3 is a better version of Modern Warfare 2 in my opinion. I do believe that it is a better game. I have a lot more fun playing Modern Warfare 3. I've even been playing it recently, both of these games, and Modern Warfare 3 is still a far better game. Now, it's not to be said that there aren't things that Modern Warfare 2 did better than Modern Warfare 3, because there are a couple things that I do want to talk about, but let's just jump right into this first of all, all right? So, let's talk about the main thing, the, the elephant in the room. One man army noob tubes, man. This is something, if you did not play MW2 back in the day or, or any time at all I guess um, because it still happens to this day people still abuse it um, but one man army was a perk pretty much that took up the perk 2 slot the blue perk it would pretty much you switched your secondary and you could choose a different class whenever and you could just choose that same class that you already have and it would replenish all of your ammo all of your grenades all of that stuff all right so if you had a grenade launcher on that thing all you had to do was have one man army and you could just spam those switch to one man army replenish one man army replenish oh, fuck. <laughs> if I touch anything, I touch to replenish. just a noob tube city man it was not a fun game that in combination with having danger close a perk that increased your explosive i don't know if it increased the damage i'm pretty sure it was the damage it might be the damage the radius it doesn't matter it improved your noob tube abilities and that's what i remember for a fact and it was not fun i'm pretty sure it was the damage that game did not need any sort of noob tube damage increase even without danger close they were pretty solid and yeah looking over at model warfare 3 that is non-existent the noob tubes they exist but they're they're not very good compared to that. Modern Warfare 2 completely ruined noob tubes for the rest of the Call of Duty franchise because at that point they had to completely cut them down and make them pretty bad. And I'm not saying they were awful in Modern Warfare 3, but they were just nowhere near what they were in Modern Warfare 2. And that is a good thing though in overall because it's not fun to die to a noob tube. I mean, look at this clip from from me 10 years ago, 12 years ago, however long it was. It was 2010, 2011, around that time, right? Uh, I'm not gonna play the audio because the audio is uh, is pretty cringe fine you know fine i will hey guys so today i'm doing some noob tubing all right you happy uh, anyways point is though i was like a 10 year old kid that was my first first person shooter and i'm sitting there getting easy kills like i've been playing this thing for years it's just that easy it was too easy it was not fun to go against it was frustrating and i promise you if you think that modern warfare 2 is better than modern warfare 3 go play them now go play both the games and i promise you you're gonna get more annoyed with modern warfare 2 than you would with modern warfare 3 that's not again that's not to say that modern warfare 2 isn't a banger game it is both of these games are fantastic i just believe that modern warfare 3 built upon what modern warfare 2 already did and i think that that is nothing but a good thing and also looking at the other perk in the game stopping power now this is not something that is the biggest deal i guess but it was kind of like a crutch perk quote unquote i hate that term because ever since they removed juggernaug and black ops 4 calling it a crutch perk that was the dumbest thing i've ever heard in my life man it's a base part of the game don't remove perks and at that point i guess tack mask is a crutch perk as well flak jacket because people spam nades they spam flashbangs that would be stupid though to call them crutch perks right anyways i'm going off topic right now but point is okay this shit was kind of crazy okay if you didn't have stopping power you were not going to be getting you're not going to be winning fights against people who did have stopping power it was fine in cod 4 which is what the stopping power perk originated in um because in cod 4 you had juggernaut juggernaut kind of countered stopping power and vice versa so you had the option of choosing something that either did more damage and countered the juggernaut perk a little bit um or you had the option to have more health 
it was you know juggernaut was still annoying let's be real but i mean it at least had a reason to exist in that game in modern warfare 2 there is no juggernaut so having that extra damage is just kind of dumb like i don't understand why they did that uh it, it's not the biggest deal but i just don't think that it was a great thing to have in the game and then moving on to kill streaks okay okay kill streaks were pretty interesting because i think this is a part where modern warfare 3 did actually do some things a little worse and a little better at the same time in model for two this is the first time we had a whole bunch of different kill streaks not just a, a uav a dog or a helicopter whatever it was you know comparing it to cod 4 and world at war um and then also an airstrike or a mortar strike you know just the three basic things right there i did them out of order for some reason but either way uh they had that and they evolved it in model for two and it was amazing man chopper gunners ac 130s emps screw the emp in model for three which is exactly what i'm going to say in a second we're going to talk about that in a second but but my point is they did some great stuff and they added a whole bunch of kill streaks to this game to the franchise things that we still see to this day with the most recent modern warfare games and even black ops games we've seen so much of this stuff bleed into the new games because that's how influential and how great the stuff was in these games but they at the same time could have been a lot better now if we look at the nuke for an example the nuke was something that i have a problem with this game just had too easy of things to get like it was just if you combine it with one man army noob tubes and just camping in a corner basically from a mile away it's so easy to get nukes because all you had to do was get seven kills which is not hard to get get a harrier and then call it in it gets some kills you get your chopper gunner there you go you got a nuke like <laughs> it's not that difficult to get that at that point because you can get the rest of your kills with the chopper gunner to get to the 25 kill streak in modern warfare 3 they made it so that it actually took skill by making it so that you have a gun streak or are required to get a gun streak kill streaks do not count towards this and it didn't end the game but i honestly disagree with that i think if you uh especially in this case uh it had it should have ended the game if you got on a 25 kill streak now the difference here right when i get a nuke in modern warfare 2 i'm not that crazy like i'm not in, like first of all it's not that hard to get it's not that uh, uncommon to see a nuke in modern warfare 2 and i'm not i just don't care when i get one it's fun yeah but uh, it's just not that insane it doesn't feel like holy i just got a nuke i'm so good at this game whereas on modern warfare 3 i mean i've never gotten an actual nuke but i've gotten incredibly close multiple different times like recently especially which is kind of funny to me because i'm not good on a controller anymore and this game you know these old call of duty games have zero aim assist compared to the new call of duty games so you know going back to these old games it's very difficult to aim when you're used to playing these new games and stuff even though i play keyboard and mouse nowadays but I occasionally play controller on these new games, but I recently got a good streak. I think I got like a 22, 23 streak. I was so close, and then I died to some drop shotting dork. But point is, man, I was having the time of my life, but I was sitting there sweating my palms were sweaty i got my heart pumping man like that does not happen in any game for me nowadays let alone a call of duty game okay so that is crazy to me that that happened and I, like i'm not even joking my heart was pounded man like even doing some fucking barbell squats doesn't even get my heart pumping as hard as that goddamn kill streak got all right so that is pretty crazy to me that doesn't happen in modern warfare 2 so point is it's a lot more rewarding because it takes a lot more skill in modern warfare 3 also like i said it does doesn't end the game which is a pro for some people i think if you're going for that you should it should end the game or anyways though it ended the game just for getting an easy nuke and model for two i like it's just not something that i think was great for the game overall um but i will say looking at the streaks all right what's better about the mw2 streaks than the mw3 well first of all things like the emp and the stealth bomber were not support streaks so anybody could get them they actually took skill to get because you needed to get actual kill streaks um whereas in model for three you had to you had them in the support streak and as someone who's been playing model for three a lot recently that shit is so annoying man everyone runs the emp everyone is so bad apparently they have to run the support streaks and they run emp stealth bomber and i guess advanced uav i don't know but that's not a problem advanced uav whatever but uh the emp 
is just not something that should be in the support streak system at all. It just should not. It's frustrating to deal with. It lasts a whole minute. And yeah, if Assassin Pro counters it, sure. But it doesn't allow you to call in streaks for a whole minute. And then you have a whole bunch of other bums using it. So they just call another EMP in after that. It's just stupid, man. Whereas in MW2, it actually took some skill. I know it wasn't really the most common streak. Why would you use it if it was an, if it was like that? But it kind of had to be an, a, a, a streak that actually took skill to get um but speaking of streaks real quick before i go too deep into this and forget um they actually made the streak system far better and honestly in my opinion the best streak system in any call of duty game with modern warfare 3 adding in the point streak system in modern warfare 2 it was strictly just kill streaks so you had to get seven kills to get a harrier for an example in modern warfare 3 if you played like a game of domination you capture the flag well now you only need six kills to get that same seven kill streak normally because that flag capture counts towards your streaks i think that is even better than score streaks because score streaks they could just be they're just a little more confusing i don't know how to explain it they're just not as uh consistent and it's just it's just weird to get score streaks compared to i don't know I, I just like point streaks it's very simple you know that if you're going to capture this flag this is how much you're going to get you're going to get one point towards your streak whereas you you know it's it's kind of it depends on what game mode you're playing what game you're playing uh and that completely differs if you had it be score streaks but that's a different topic for a different day point is though point streak systems were far better than the kill streak systems in my opinion i do think that that is a far better and superior system and it actually rewarded you for playing the objective unlike modern warfare 2 which did not have that just another reason where model for 3 picked up the slack from model for 2 and improved upon the that exact same thing while having a very similar fun gameplay experience which is exactly why i'm saying model for 3 is better but now we look at the maps now this is something that is probably going to be it's very subjective here because of course this is just down to personal preference for me i think that overall the maps from model for two are actually better overall than model for three there's just a more just the higher variety of them now i do absolutely love the map pool in mw3 man i wish they made maps like this nowadays maps that are actually so good and there's a whole variety of them man and they actually know what they're doing like even the worst maps in Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 are still pretty solid. They're still playable. They're not slow and, you know, just unbearable to play. I mean, I'm not saying, like, there, there's never been any terrible maps like that. <coughs> Cracked uh, <coughs> Crisis in Black Ops 1. <coughs> but, um, you know, there's just, it's just a lot less common compared to what it is today. And um, I am going to go over, I mean, let's look at the MW2 maps, alright? We have Terminal. Absolute banger right there. One of the best maps in the game for sure. Uh, High Rise, another banger right there. Uh, scrapyard favela is one i do enjoy a lot afghan is another one i really like there's a whole bunch of other ones as well i just can't think of all of them off the top of my head but there are some great maps in this game and there are some great ones in model for three as well we have dome sea town underground arkadin resistance bootleg hard hat a uh, village was even pretty good there was some banger maps in this game and uh, mission is another one as well i don't think that it was like a top top map for sure like some people make it out to be but it was a pretty solid map for damn sure overall though i do think that the map pool in model for two is a little bit more just a little bit more for me um but i do enjoy model for three a lot it's still it's like they're pretty close but if i had to pick one i will say the model for two maps were slightly better just slightly better um but yeah that's gonna wrap up this video this video is going way too long at this point point is at the end of the day model for three completely fixed up all of the garbage that model for two left behind and they just never fixed for some reason well i know why the legal issues that they had back in the day with infinity ward and activision uh back in 2009 but either way um or 2010 i don't know when it was the history is repeating itself by the looks of it they are taking you know this new call of duty game they're taking all the good and leaving all the bad and fixing infinity wards mess <laughs> history really does repeat itself all right but anyways what do you guys think about this and do you disagree do you agree do you think that model for two was a better version of model for three like let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below all right that's gonna wrap up this video if you guys enjoyed it like it'd be greatly appreciated if you're new here and you like videos like this make sure to that subscribe button down below and yeah thank you guys so much for watching have a great day Let's fucking go! Get the fuck off my point, bitch!